Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem. And the question is d square plus 1 into y equal to sin x into sin 2x. Let's rewrite the question. d square plus 1 into y equal to. Now we have product of two trigonometry terms. So as a first part, it is better if I write the higher number coefficient as a first term. So I will write this as sin 2x into sin x. Now I am going to apply a formula where if you have sin x into sin y then both the terms are sin it is minus 1 by 2 bracket open cos of sum of those two angle then minus cos of difference of those two angle. So if I apply the formula here this is like x and this is like y. So d square plus 1 into y equal to half with the minus sign bracket open cos of add both the angle. So we get 3x minus cos subtract both the angle 2x minus x is x. Now we will individually multiply this minus half. So d square plus 1 into y equal to minus 1 by 2 cos 3x plus 1 by 2 cos x. Now auxiliary equation we have m square plus 1 equal to 0 from this m square equal to minus 1 and m is equal to plus or minus root of minus 1 which is i. So this is of the form alpha plus or minus i beta so alpha is 0 and beta is 1. So complementary function e power alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x. Now substituting the value of alpha is 0 we get e power 0x into c1 cos x beta is 1 plus c2 sin x. Anyway the first term is 1. So CF is C1 cos x plus C2 sin x. Now coming to particular integral 1. On the right hand side we have two terms. Let's take the first one minus 1 by 2 cos 3x. So minus 1 by 2 into cos 3x whole divided by we should write the d square plus 1 in the denominator. As for the procedure, we have 3 here. So d square, we have to substitute the 3 for d. So it will become 3 square with a minus sign outside. So it is going to be minus 1 by 2 cos 3x by minus of 3 square plus 1. Totally, we get minus half cos 3x by this is minus 9 plus 1 so minus 8 and we also have 2 here so minus cos 3x by minus 16 you can cancel both the minus in the same way we have to continue for particular integral 2 and in the right hand side the second term is 1 by 2 cos x so 1 by 2 cos x and in the denominator we have d square plus 1. Here the coefficient of x in this cos x is 1. So in place of d square we have to substitute 1 square with a minus sign outside. By doing so we get 0 in the denominator because this is minus 1 square then plus 1 totally the denominator is 0. When the denominator is 0 we multiply the numerator by x and differentiate denominator. So we get 1 by 2 cos x and differentiation of the denominator d square plus 1 is nothing but 2d. And we have to rewrite this as 1 by 4 into 1 by d and cos x. 1 by d stands for integration and integration of cos x with respect to 
dx. So it is 1 by 4 and we also have x here because we have to multiply by x in the numerator then we are differentiating the denominator. Let's write the x here and this is x by 4 into integration of cos x is sin x. So finally we have a complete solution which is cf plus pi1 plus pi2. So cf what we got here is c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus pi1 is nothing but cos 3x by 16. Cos 3x by 16 and last term is x by 4 into sin x. This is our complete solution y.